Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and I'm going to do some baking and other putzing around in the kitchen today, so I thought I would bring you along. Today is Saturday, 9 o'clock, Saturday morning, and I'm going to make some chewy snickerdoodle cookies. So I need to get one and, or no, three quarters of a cup of room temperature butter, which is a stick and a half. And then I need one and a half cups of sugar. And I have to put sugar on my grocery list. We are almost out. And I'm going to cream these two ingredients. Now I'm going to add two eggs but I'm going to do them one at a time, get them well incorporated. And I need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Give that another little mix. Okay, now I'm going to add the dry ingredients, which will be two and three quarter cups of flour. and three quarters. And then I need two teaspoons of cream of tartar. And I have a two teaspoon measuring spoon here. Better add cream of tartar to my list also. And then I need one teaspoon of baking soda. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we are going to mix all this together. It'll go the rest by hand. This is a really thick dough. All right, get this mixed up the rest of the way by hand. That didn't take long to finish the job. Okay, friends, I am ready to roll the cookie dough out. 
I have my one tablespoon cookie scoop here. Just gonna roll them all out. Let's see, I need to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Alrighty, that made a lot of cookies. Let's see, what can I add this to? Alright, there's all my cookies rolled out. Now I need three tables three tablespoons of sugar. cinnamon. And we're going to roll the cookies in this. Okay, we'll see what this works out like. <clears throat> now we roll them in the sugar cinnamon. bake for six to eight minutes in a 400 degree oven. So I'm just going to finish this up and then I'll bring you back to show you the final product. Okay, our snickerdoodles are done. I had each pan in the oven for seven minutes and then I let them cool on the pan for about five minutes before cooling completely on this rack and my husband and I already tested them they're super good and just like the name says they are chewy and I like that in a cookie I don't like the hard crispy ones so I will leave this recipe link for you below in the description box if you want to give it a try and I will bring you back for the next thing on my agenda okay friends um, yesterday I bought a 10 pound log of hamburger and I divvied it out into one pound portions I froze eight of those and now I've decided I'm going to make a couple one pound meat loaves to have in the freezer. So I have two pounds of hamburger here, one cup of crushed crackers. Now I need a cup of milk. and a half a teaspoon of pepper it seems like every time i need my pepper it's empty so i'll just measure out a half a teaspoon and then i need a third of a cup of onion that I'm going to chop up really fine. I like to run my onion under cold water. It helps from tearing up. Okay, that looks like about a third of a cup. And then I need 
one egg. Teaspoon of salt. A half a cup of ketchup. And then a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm going to give this a mix. And then this will be a nice dinner to have in the freezer. And then the day we want it, my husband can just pop it in the oven an hour before I get home. This is a nice moist uh, meatloaf. I've made this recipe before. It's a good one. And then when I have them put it in the oven, I always tell them to put a good, a good coating of ketchup on top of it. All right. And I have these aluminum pans. I think I got them at Dollar General a while back. these evened out as good I as good as I can all right there's that Scraping this out some more. All right, now I can prepare them for the freezer, and I am going to double wrap them in plastic wrap and then heavy duty foil That they are meatloaf. On February 
third, 24, 350 degrees. All right, these are gonna go down in the freezer until we want meatloaf someday. All right, thank you for spending this time in the kitchen with me. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.